Vivian and I, um, our working work relationship is actually very. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of fun. You know, I. Let it be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I um. We work together every single day. Some of them should. Uh, we don't work together because she has a, a part-time job. Or maybe I, because I don't want to see it for uh, that maybe day. She doesn't want to see me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we've been friends for like 15 years, and I feel like I've known her for 10,000 years. I know. Because knowing Harry, that's what it feels like 10,000 years. Yeah, we're a husband and no. wife. Whoa. Yes. My husband said that you are, you, you our relationship. With me than, than no, yeah. he said that our relationship is worse. I know, than right? that, you know, like any other well, relationship. Since I have a very, like, I'm, I'm very patient and I'm very, you know, I'm a very calm person. I take every, you know, because I'm, I'm, life is short. I'm not going to be stressing out, you know. But I try to do the best that I can, you know, when she, like, when I'm, like, in that situation. Because I'm very I'm, perfectionist. So yeah. I always find, I get very anxious with things to go yeah. in a certain way. And Carlos and always say, come when down, she gets like that, come I, down. When she gets like that, I get, like, <laughs> nervous. And <laughs> if I have to speak to her in Spanish, there's, you don't understand anything I'm saying. Our chemistry worked since the very beginning because even it's more like outgoing. She reads a novel, she bakes a cake, <laughs> she does ceramics, she cleans the car. I'm like, how do you do so many things in this one This is day? a productive like, action right here. I don't, that's I, anxiety. I concentrate on one thing and I try to do the best that I can. Yeah. And that's, that's who I am. No, but Carlo then have the created part. And also his personality helped me for me to like because I'm very anxious down, to calm down. funny for us to work together because sometimes like when we are down somebody yeah, are up and said you know what break. this is what we're doing and we came with a job when, I'm, when I'm down she she lifts me up and she's down I lift her up so it's like uh, there's a balance there and I yeah and I, it's, that's really rare to find and I'm thankful for that <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of like I'm very glad that she's in my life and that we're doing and we're taking this journey together Roots and Pots born in a year of the COVID because we were in the situation that we lost our job. We both been working together and then we were doing uh, interior design, interior decoration for a long time. We had started having this conversation about to start a business. And then Roots and Pots, um, it's kind of catchy. So we decided, well, let's go with Roots and Pots. The process start always for me to create ceramic is first to find out in nature what I can use and bring it directly to my clay. And some of that is that I found roots, I found branches, I found leaves that when they dry, it's perfect for me to apply it in the clay. More like found objects. Like she finds um, things that are like, have different patterns and different um, textures. It reflects nature and it reflects who we are as human beings. Correct. But those planters, I don't call planter. I call piece of art for plants because that's what I create a specific kind of the texture, the wave and the form that when you plant something beautiful there, it will bring all together, you know, with a beautiful piece of art. Hello, but say something about your drawing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, technically, um, I, I really derive my inspiration from nature. Like anything will inspire me, you know, the foliage of a plant, the color, the texture, the form, to me that's very important. So I find it to be very interesting and I do have a relationship with them. I have a lot of plants at home and they, they bring me inspiration each day. That to me is just pure happiness. I create because of nature, and that's where my, my art is based from. I came from Cuba, and where I live in my country, in my family, they're all like artists and gardeners. So my mom loved to have gardens and also because of our necessities. I had to see my mother trying to find a way for us to eat. 
And one of the things that she started doing is planting. We have a huge land with six trees of guanabanas. I don't know how you say that in English. But yeah. Guanabana. <laughs> so she has that and she started cutting part of those trees and then start planting more vegetables and things for us to eat. And I remember that I was playing as a child all around. And now that I grew up and I live in this country and I see Everything is so easy for us to get it. For her, it was hard, but she made the way for us to have a dinner, you know? And that's why I think that I've been connected with nature. Carlos also is, he love, Carlos. Let me talk. <laughs> I do love um, gardening. Um, since I was a kid with my mom, I used to garden all the time. I'm a twin. And my twin brother, we and him, we're not the same. We're very different personalities. And my twin was the more um, talkative. I've been more of a person that's been more in tune with other things that, you know, that most people, I guess, don't put much attention to. Carlos have a lot of knowledge about plants. He know the names. I know but how to really, plant it. I know like, <laughs> the, not the scientific name, but more like the botanical name, because I'm not a, I'm a scientist. No, but you love it's that. Like hard to pronounce too. Yes, so. he loved that, and he has studied that. Uh, you know, to put any also in his drawing. Personal, I love to plant, and I know what the plants can go. Was the shade, was the sun, and the humidity. That's what a specific. I love orchids because orchids are very tedious. You know, you have to study them how this plant, you're gonna plant it, how they live. The reason I create this type of planter, I, I, when I made the hole for the planter, is to then the roots need to breathe, need to come out. And I love tropical plants. A lot of people here in Miami, they want to do like uh, maybe English gardens or other type of gardens. We have to be very conscious that it's a lot of rains, the sun, but we have to be concerned about the plant that we plant, which is very tropical. Well, considering their light condition. Yeah. Yeah, so these are one of the reasons that i being been so happy to be doing this type of gardens. We see ourselves on the future um, creating a community where artists can come and they can show their work. Um, we, still, ourselves, still. we ourselves can show our work as well, but um, we want it to be nature inspired. Where we're planning to go is the place that we could be an inspiration for other people. You're sweating on me. I know. Well, you have it here. I'm gonna put it oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, my God. Carlos, stop doing that. What? We are in camera. <laughs>